Hello everyone, welcome back for another Minecraft video. It's been a while. I do still play this game, I just don't have a lot of free time. So yeah, I'm just I just make the most of it where I can. But yeah, as I said, I was doing, as I said in the last Minecraft video, I've been doing a bit of tidying up. So everything's got podiums, as you can see. They've all got these podiums. Oh, and the lift is hanging from there. Uh, and we've got some dirty, dirty uh, uh, shadows appeared that I hate this this is to do with world edit and there is a way to get rid of them it's just a bit laborious so we'll get round to it um, but yeah it's just really been tidying up and adding uh, obviously added a chicken which is in context uh, if any of you that don't know I am chicken mad chickens are a bit of an obsession for me I've got I've got a few uh, and yeah this this over here is the terrarium which contains the free range chicken egg farm that I did last year because it was sat up on the shelf here but I wanted to do it in in a working state and I thought this is a good way to make it fit into the room now as you did see in the title this is up for download so we'll go and talk about that in a sec but just it's, it's, it's it doesn't have a lot of context this build when you see the download it is it is very abstract context and it makes a bit more sense when we're in the room here. But basically what it is, is, is instead of doing it on uh, what looks like um, freshly mown grass, uh, it's this is actually um, made to look like water. So it looks like uh, one of those duck pond houses on water. So yeah, that's what this one is. And also I've linked out, did you see the ladybird flap? In a sec, we'll see that the, um, the, the, the stag beetles down here, these, these will flap. And, and when they flap, it's an indication that an egg has just been laid by one of the chickens on the pond or this bit here. This is also um, also hoppers underneath. Um, yeah, and, and, and yeah, it just indicates when an egg has been laid. Um, but what we'll do, instead of, instead of hanging around in here, we'll go look at the actual download. So yeah, when you come in, this is what you're going to be faced with. You're going to have, everything's clearly explained, so if you see uh, information thing there just look in the shulker and there'll be a book in there explaining what's going on in front of you and each little section here I mean you can tell which one to do I've clearly numbered it uh, if if Jeffy isn't showing you anyway and um, basically what this does is explain the machine I'm not going to go into too much depth but basically this once the eggs end up in the hoppers if we go look at this one as you can see um, all the hoppers go underneath and it's carpet on top on, in, in there it's blue carpet but yeah we'll go and look at that in a sec and basically what happens is, is as the eggs get laid on the carpet, they fall into the hoppers, they come into this system here. I've given you all the stuff you need here to test it and everything, and it explains how. So you just go put your eggs into that um, hopper there, and it will spit them out how it does in the actual machine. So that's your egg dispenser. This is uh, what I call, um, this is a clutch counter. So basically what this is, is it's like a, it's like a buffer, an egg buffer. So, so what happens is all the eggs build up in this hopper here, and because it's locked with this. And what happens is they get weighed. This is where the eggs accumulate. Um, th this gets weighed by this, uh, this comparator. And then the redstone signal eventually makes it up to here and then activates this timer, which unlocks this hopper for a set period and lets all the eggs through in a batch because the reason it does that is because this next section requires eggs to be in a batch so what will happen is you've got eggs all of these have got testing eggs in so yeah just come in and grab some testing eggs and just throw throw a batch into there and see what happens what will basically happen is a, 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 a line of, of eggs will come down here and by the time the first egg gets down here all of these eggs behind it will each have eggs flowing down through it now what happens is this then activates this system back here turning this off which unlocks the hoppers that sit directly below these upper hoppers now uh, and then what will happen then is every single hopper all of these hoppers here will then drop the eggs that are above it did that make sense so, so then each of these should have one in it's not completely it's a bit uneven but that's good for what I want it for because what I've done here as you can see it's all wrapped around uh, and then and then it's basically just this this one's just a dressed version of this so yeah yeah well I don't know whether that's explained it enough but either way it's a download so you can come on in and play away with it to your heart's content. All the eggs will, as I, as I should have probably said, they appear in these brown shulkers around the sides here. Um, but yeah, 
that's how it is. You have a good play with that. Now, what we'll do now, I'm just going to show you this. Um, so yeah, in the in the um, lab, it's got it's got uh, it just sits in the corner there. But I, I thought to just give it a bit of interactivity, I was going to install a little redstone I Spy game. So what the deal is here, you have to come down here if you want to go look at the redstone and also my chicken memorial, which sits sits underneath. Um, for my chickens that have passed away over the years, um, um, you basically have to work out the code. And the code is amphibians, reptiles, followed by insects, followed by gastropods. So yeah, basically what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to just move around and try and spot these animals. You may have to look up what gastropods is, that's the hardest one there, but yeah. Gastropods are a certain type of animal that you may see in here, but as you can see, there's all sorts of things going on. Um, mushrooms and stuff. Ever, to be honest, with you, I've used I've used invisible item frames a lot in this build, and even some invisible um, armor stands. But yeah, I'll show you that in a sec. But yeah, either way, the, the aim of the game is to try and work out the digits. And what you do, if you can just see, I've put and you can see a button underneath each of these numbers. So yeah, you just type in the, the code that you think it is. And yeah, and once you get the code for that, you can then gain access. Access will be revealed to the lower area. Now I'm just gonna switch to spectator mode. Okay, so I'm in spectator mode now, so we can just fly in it. Now, as you can see, some of them are going mad. I think somebody's having a bit of an egg laying sesh. There's one of them going absolutely ape in it, but there's a few chickens in here keeping this going. And as you can see, this is actually real water down here. I'm just block these off so the chickens can't get past. And here's your entrance down into the redstone. We will go and have a little look down there, but I'm not showing you the code. If you want to work out, you, obviously you can just fly in here or break your way in here, but yeah, just a fun little way it is to come in here and search for the animals. Well, I'll give you one for free. This, if you can't tell, is a frog. <laughs> Uh, I worked for ages on this frog. I did have it horizontal. If I can, I think I actually took a picture of it. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. Um, um, but yeah, this frog, it was, it was. I was really struggling with it, and then I just decided to turn it diagonally, and all of a sudden, it looks more like a frog than an actual frog. It's so clearly a frog, and yeah, I really, really love that one. And obviously, the bugs, the ladybirds, they really turned out nice. Um, with these, when they come up to the edge, I mean, I think, did I use invisible? No, I think they use your normal armor stands. Yeah, they are. So yeah, these are, these are regular armor stands that I used in there and then pushed the blocks in. So there's six armor stands per bug. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of pist pistons pushing things in place. Um, I might, if you want to see a tutorial on the bugs, I will do a tutorial because they're very, very simple. Just, just let me know and I will try and put one of them together. Um, this was the, the, the real difference difficult one because um, this one used invisible armor, armor stands and invisible armor stands oh my word look that almost you can almost see them that's really strange I think that's new that wasn't on 1.16 and that's something that's just happened in 1.17 but yeah either way it's um yeah it still looks good um, but yeah, with this one, um, it's flat, is the only one that's controlled by command block. There is a little bit of command block going on. Um, but yeah, and as you can see with the um, snails, um, with these, you can see where I've used a bit of darker slab and lighter slabs to give definition and make it look like it's it's got shaded underneath, if you see what I mean. Um, yeah, and it really works, it really works. And I have used a few custom heads, well, a few custom heads, one type of custom head, I think. And it's this one here, and it's for, I've used it on the eyes there, and the eyes for the snails. Um, but yeah, so there's a few few animals for you to go find in here. And I love I love old northeast southwest. <laughs> when you can get the cursor on him, it's a, it's a it's a weathercock, by the way. Um, yeah, and yeah, it's, it's it's a nice little space. I went I went totally out on the detail. The orchid was something I was really chuffed with. The flowers themselves look really great. Um, again, um, invisible armor stands really went to town. On invisible armor stands. Um, I should say I should make an apology. Actually, I did mention in the last video that you can get armor stands on um, on regular, and it's apparently it's a patch that you need to use. And I get confused with. I'm so bad with technical jargon and patch. Patch and um, what's the other one? Patch and snapshot are two things that I get constantly muddled up. And I thought that was maybe a snapshot that was letting us use them. But um, yeah, no, it's not. Um, you can't use them, but you can use a patch. 
Uh, and yeah, it's in the, the yeah the videos for that is in my last video, the uh, dimmer switch one. But yeah, I do apologise for that misinformation in that video. Um, but yeah, either way, that's that that's the uh, visible area of the terrarium. Now, for those of you that don't know what a terrarium is, I should probably say it's a bit of an obscure one for some people. Terrarium is basically an enclosed habitat within a sort of fish tank. Instead of having fish in there, you've got sort of, you know, a, a biome in there with plants growing and sometimes little animals wandering around. It's, it's, they are really nice. Okay, so let's take a look down through this door. So what you will be faced with down here is a very soppy memorial to my chickens. Now, as I said, I've said in previous videos, I do rescue chickens and they are my babies. I, I don't just rescue them now. We have got some, um, we did get some thoroughbreds and we have started buying, I think we've now got three thoroughbred chickens, but the vast majority of ours are rescues. Um, and I should say as well, if you can remember last year, I did do a video of where of some babies I got. This one was Donk and she was my utter baby. And unfortunately, when she came to egg laying, she she, her, she had a real problem and her eggs fused, fused to her ovaries and she we had to put her down. And I was just totally devastated because when you, one thing with the rescue chickens, they do come with some health problems sometimes, you know, lung problems and stuff like that. Not diseases, they're just they're just wear and tear from being in that awful, awful place. And and yeah, with, with these, you know, you just expect the thoroughbreds to last longer. So it really it was a real sucker punch with Donk. But we're we're not gonna talk about it too much. But yeah, we, we, we only recently this summer as well, we got we kind of got some replacements, but yeah, it's pictures on the screen of them babies, but yeah, they're my they're my babies and I'm molly coddling them to death, you know. But um but yeah, either way, this is the memorial for the chickens. Um, as you can see, there's no mods being used here. I have done a reflection in the in the floor. I'm very sad and attention to detail. Um, but yeah, there is a reflection there and this will continue to develop. So every time I, I have to face the task of adding a chicken to this, to this wall, I will be adding, um, I will be doing that and I will also be adding something to the sort of decorative outside. So it will be either, let's just go up there and, uh, and have a look. It will either be sort of more chickens or it will be more sort of things that give this a bit more context if it's even possible to give something like this context. Yeah, but either way, as I said, you'll see developments in this in this build over time. So do check for future updates to the build. Um, but either way, as I said, this is 1.17, by the way, it's 1.17 checked. I didn't use any blocks from 1.17 though. It was built in 1.16. So, so yeah, just bear that in mind, but it is totally checked for 1.17. Yeah, and with this number four and five, these are the useful ones to you builders. I've put, um, you, we have got separate um, schematics files, the names of the schematics files. I will put the names of the schematics files separate. Um, one of them is for it in this state and one of them is for it in this state because this one, if you're feeling confident to do something like this, if you're a decorative builder, go and decorate this yourself. I'd be really interested to see what you guys come up with as well. So do message me. I'll put all my, um, tw all my Twitter and Instagram and all that sort of stuff in the, uh, in the description. So just message me on there and show me what you come up with. And for those of you that are, are, are not too good with redstone and not really that great with the, the sort of, um, decorative stuff yeah this this is the one for you the finished piece so yeah i just have fun in, installing these in your own homes and your own mansions and yeah that's what those two are for um but yeah as i said if you want to see more updates to this one just keep keep coming back i'll, I'll post updates to this this build as and when it is required of me but yeah anyway i think we're going to leave it there i've been beardy box i box box who have i been i've been bled bled bled, bled. Sorry, I'm blah, 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 blah. It's just easier that way, isn't it? <laughs>